Welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. This is our weekly newsletter on tips and tricks to stay as healthy and active as possible and to get the most out of your vacuum cleaner. Yeah, well, actually, I wanna dispel the myth that you don't have time to exercise and also that you have to have a full hardcore, you know, push it until you drop exercise session to get any benefit at all. So today's Saturday, I come into the clinics on weekends, uh, typically Saturday or Sunday, most weeks, and give really what's basically like a deep cleaning to the practice. So we clean during the week, we vacuum during the week, we do all these things, but uh, some of you who may know me, I like things just right. And so I like things organized and clean. And so I like to come in and go a little bit deeper but at the same time, I integrate my exercise, my workout routine into that. So what I do, and this is what you can do at home, is get your vacuum cleaner out, you're gonna clean the house, and add on a few little other things. So for me, it is, I got my band here, so I'm gonna do some hip abduction exercises in between unplugging it and replugging it, plug it in the vacuum to get where I need to go. I've got my shoulder press set up. Um, so I'll vacuum for two or three minutes, stop it, come over here, do a set of uh, military press with a dumbbell, excuse me, with a barbell. Vacuum for another two or three minutes, hit another room, stop it, put the band around my ankles, do a crab walk back and forth, give that a rest, vacuum for another few minutes, uh, put some of the dumbbells away after I spray them off and give them a deep clean, do another set of military press. And I'll continue with this. Really it's, I mean, you could probably say it's uh, not being able to focus very well <laughs> because I can't do one thing and I kind of get sidetracked. But I've been using that to my advantage. So things have to get done here. Things have to get done at home uh, for me as well as you. And there's always an opportunity to to sneak in a little bit of extra fitness that will carry you over well and really, you know, have you break a sweat. Uh, typically when I get into deep cleaning, I break a sweat anyhow, so I might as well do a few push-ups, do a wall sit, do some walking lunges, uh, do a few bicep curls with the vacuum cleaner. Um, think of it almost as like an unstructured time to, to get a little bit more out of your chores. <clears throat> So my challenge to you is to take your vacuum cleaning, your sweeping, your organizing, your laundry, folding clothes, great, fold clothes, drop down, do a plank for a minute, come back up, fold some more clothes, do five or 10 push-ups. do 15 or 20 push-ups. put your clothes away, do a wall sit, do a wall sit and take your laundry basket and do a few overhead presses with it. If you have dumbbells, course those are super easy to kind of come back to do a few bicep curls do a few shoulder presses with so there's always an opportunity to challenge your body a little bit and I mean literally just a little bit to stimulate really a healthy lifestyle but I mean stimulate your muscles to be stronger stimulate some cardiovascular fitness all while doing the chores and things that kind of uh, unfortunately, sometimes end up being excuses why I can't do this. I don't have time to exercise because I've got to, you know, do a little spring cleaning or I got to do something else around the house. Well, you know, sh short of entertaining where you need to have kind of your Sunday's best on and be prim and proper, yeah, you're going to maybe break a sweat. You can do that. So take an afternoon, take your weekend chores, get the most out of them, do some push-ups, vacuum a little bit, do, do your dishes, do a wall sit, fold your laundry, do a few bicep curls. Uh, with a band or, with, or with, um, whatever weight you may have, but make the most out of it. So that's going to be the tip for right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got to get back to vacuum, vacuuming, dusting, military pressing, push-uping, and a few other things. So that's the tip. If you have any questions or uh, challenges integrating fitness into your routine, and I think that's one of the biggest things, if we can tell you what exercises to do that make the most sense physiologically, but once we get out in the real world, sometimes it's hard to figure out the time and match, <clears throat> excuse me, match the time with motivation. So that's really hard. So if you have any challenges with that, please reach out to us. We're here for you. Uh, as always, we appreciate your business 
and your fitness. So stick with it and I'll catch up with you soon.